Blues will get another look at their third consecutive lefty starting for the Blue Jays and that of course is Steven Matz. Yeah, and Steven's been so hot. This is his 24th start of the season. There are his stats in his 23, 381 earned run average for him. Lowest season ERA since 2016 for Matz. Ground ball down to first, dropped and picked up by Vladdy, and he'll still win the race. One down. Went down and got it. Fly ball to left, and that falls in front of the left fielder, Goriel, for a base hit. Ground ball to third. Valera short hop Simeon, and they won't get two. As Valera kind of elected to get rid of it quickly rather than setting his feet and maybe all they would have gotten was the lead runner but there was no chance for two on that play. And he got him. Had to throw a lot of pitches but no damage done. Blue Jays coming up when we come back. Matt Harvey goes to work in the bottom of the first and nothing nothing game. But after the all star break he has been a different dude. Popped him up right side of the infield. Jones calling. Gloves it. Marcus Simeon steps in. One home run shy of matching his career high. This one is lined, hit deep left field, and there it is. Number 33 for Simeon, one to nothing, Blue Jays. And Marcus Simeon just sizzled the 204th off of an Oriole pitcher. Big spot in the early going here for Steven Matz. Will pop up shallow right field Dickerson comes on to make the catch. Oh and he had the double play at second if he had seen it. Now nobody scored that's the good news but Santander was halfway to third and he could have been doubled off. Full count two down. That's to Mullins ball four and that'll get a run in. So give Cedric Mullins an RBI on the walk number forty nine for him on the season. Maria scores and the game's tied at one. Three twos inside missed by a lot. Ball four another run forced in and the Orioles lead two to one. For Mountcastle that's RBI number seventy four. Yeah lots of frustration watch the reaction knows exactly what he did wrong trying to hit that outside corner. Change up grounded to short. And a will make the play to get him. And to retire the side. Ravik Valera getting the start at third base, batting in the nine spot. Slashes it down the left field line, and that's a fair ball. And Valera's into second base with a one out double. That's how you take a ball, a sinker, two seamer away from you. You don't think about trying to pull that thing, you think about staying behind it. Bounce down. Arias up with it. Fires yes, and he got him. Ramon Urias, huh? So a nice play to retire Simeon. Blue Jays down in the third. Orioles lead it 2 1. Glad he's got to reach for it. Bounces it up the middle. Jones's throw is not in time. Addy a small base hit and he gets himself an infield hit. Orioles 2, Blue Jays 1, and here is Teoscar Hernandez. Little looper to shallow right, and that's going to drop. Bichette getting the way. Throw to the plate, not in time, and that'll tie it. Blue Jays are going to take advantage of the stolen base by Bichette. And then Teoscar Hernandez told you there's a lot of hits over there in right field. Gets jammed on a fastball and flares it into right field. That'll help you to stay back just a little bit longer. And now it's up to Lourdes Gurriel Jr. To try to give the Blue Jays the lead here in the fourth inning. And a 3 2 pitch up coming to Guriel. Lined in the left, a base hit. Hernandez home. Dickerson home. 4 2 Blue Jays. Oh, what an at bat by Lourdes Guriel. 1 1 pitch. Line drive, base hit right field. Mateo around third has the green light. Here comes the throw. And it's cut off. He's in. RBI base hit for Austin wins, and the Orioles get within a run as Mateo comes around. 
Now last batter for Saucedo. Mullins thinking about bunting for a hit. Takes a strike throw down. Got him. Alejandro Kirk picks off the runner at first. Here's Mancini. The 1-0. Line drive, base hit to left field. It's going to get in the corner. Mountcastle digging for third, and they're going to give him the send around. Here comes the relay. Play at the plate, and Mountcastle's safe. And a play at third base, and Mancini is out. But the base hit gets the run home. The Orioles have tied it up. Lopez ready. Two on, two down. Right field. Santander is there. And Lopez does a job. Comes in, gets a strikeout, and Guerrero to fly out. A drive to deep center. Caught 400 feet away, but both runners will tag in advance. And Randall Gritchick will be batting. 1 1. High in the air to center field. Medium depth. Mullins the catch. Bichette on his way home, and he will score. Gritchick with a sacrifice fly. It's 5-4 Blue Jays. And into the game, looking for three enormously important outs for this team tonight is Jordan Romano. Bichette's got it. Scooped by Vladdy at first for out number one. He hasn't thrown a slider since coming into the game. And he got him. Mullins is unhappy. Thought it was inside. That's out number two. Romano trying to put away the Orioles. And he got him. Boy, it wasn't easy, but they got a win they had to have. Finding a way to beat Baltimore 5-4. to four.